guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. For today's video, we're talking about multiplying fractions using cancellation method. Now, in cancel using cancellation method, we are going to cancel the common factors from numerator to denominator. Okay, for example, 5 over 8 times 1 fifth. So, isipin natin ano yung pwede nating makancel sa taas, sa numerator at denominator. Pwede numerator sa first fraction at denominator. Pwede rin numerator sa first fraction at denominator sa second fraction. O kaya naman, numerator ng second fraction, pwede rin denominator ng second fraction or numerator ng second fraction, then cancel natin sa denominator ng first fraction. Okay, tingnan natin. Ano yung pwede natin makancel dito na meron common factor? That is 5. 5 numerator ng first fraction at yung denominator ng second fraction. Factors nila ay 5. Divisible by 5. So, divide natin yan using cancellation method. Cancel natin sila. Okay. 5 divided by 5 equals 1. So, ilagay lang natin sa taas yung sagot. Then, also ito, 5 divided by 5 equals 1. Then, multiply na po natin yung 1. 1 times 1 equals 1. 8 times 1 equals 8. So, 1 over 8 ay naka lowest term na. That is our final answer. Another 1, 3 over 5 times 1 over 6. So, tingnan po natin ano yung numbers na merong common factor, numerator at denominator. Ang dito, merong common factor is 3 and 6. Six. So, divide natin, divisible by 3. So, 3 divided by 3 equals 1. 6 divided by 3 equals 2. Then, multiply. 1 times 1 equals 1. 5 times 2 equals 10. So, 1 over 10 ay naka lowest term na. 1 over 10 is our final answer. Next one, 2 over 5 times 1 over 6. So, ang mayroong common factor ay 2 and 6. So, 2 and 6, both divisible by 2. Divide natin. 2 divided by 2 equals 1. 6 divided by 2 equals 3. O, wala ng common factor. Multiply numerator times numerator. 1 times 1 equals 1. Then, denominator times denominator. 5 times 3 equals 15. 1 over 15 has no common factor. So, 1 over 15 is our final answer. Another one, 2 over 3 times 3 over 6. So, dito maraming common factor. Pwede 2 and 6, pwede 3 and 6. So, unahin muna natin ang 2 at 6. So, 2 and 6 divisible by 2. 2 divided by 2 equals 1. 6 divided by 2 equals 3. May kita po natin, meron pang common, pwedeng 3 at 3, o kaya naman 3 at ito. So, either po sa inyo ano yung ikakancel nyo. So, sa akin, ito ang gagamitin ko, 3 at 3. 3 and 3 divisible by 3. So, 3 divided by 3 equals 1. 3 divided by 3 equals 1. Next po, multiply natin, numerator times numerator, 1 times 1 equals 1, then 1 times 3 equals 3. One third is our final answer. Another one, 5 over 7 times 1 over 10. So, ang merong common factor ay 5 at 10. So, cancel natin. Divisible by 5. 5 divided by 5 equals 1. 10 divided by 5 equals 2. Then, multiply. One, numerator times numerator, 1 times 1 equals 1, 2 times 7 equals 14. So, 1 over 14 has no common factor, so that is our final answer. Next, 3 over 8 times 2 over 15. So, merong common ay 3 at 15, divisible by 3. 3 divided by 3 equals 1. 15 divided by 3 equals 5. Then, meron pa po 2 at 8 divisible by 2. 2 divided by 2 equals 1. 8 divided by 2 equals 4. So, wala na pong 
common factor yung numerator at denominator. So, multiply na natin. 1 times 1 equals 1. 4 times 5 equals 20. Another example, 5 over 8 times 2 over 9. So, dito, ang meron ay 2 at 8. Divisible by 2. So, cancel natin. 2 divided by 2 equals 1. Then, 8 divided by 2 equals 4. Okay, multiply na. Wala nang pwedeng ma-divide. 5 times 1 equals 5. Then, 4 times 9 equals 36. 5 over 36 is our final answer. Another one, 4 over 7 times 4, 14 over 9. So, dito, ang pwede ay 14 at 7. Divisible by 7. Okay, divide. 14 divided by 7 equals 2. 7 divided by 7 equals 1. Then, wala nang common um, factor. Multiply. 4 times 2 equals 8. And 1 times 9 equals 9. So, 8 over 9 has no common factor. So, 8 over 9 is our final answer. Another example, 6 over 7 times 14 over 18. So, dito maraming pwede. So, bahala kayo kung ano unahin nyo. Ako unahin ko ay 14 at 7. So, divisible by 7. 14 divided by 7 equals 2. 7 divided by 7 equals 1. Okay, meron pa po ulit. 6 at 18, pwede at 2 at 18. So, gagawin ko ay 6 at 18, divisible by 6. So, 6 divided by 6 equals 1. 18 divided by 6 equals 3. So, natitira ay 2 at 3, wala ng common factor. So, multiply numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. So, 1 times 2 equals 2 and 1 times 3 equals 3. So, the answer is 2 thirds. So, ito po yung mga previous videos ko. Kapag meron po kayong hahanapin, pwede nyo pong isearch. Okay, that's all. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for update videos. And also, pakivisit na rin ang Chicks Kong Badoy. That's all. Thank you.